Well, Friday don't reach you. It's Friday night. The young ones are out to play. Usually, what I do is that I will sleep just a few capsules in his drink before he goes to bed. It will keep him nice and easy till I come back in the early hours of the morning with the young blooded. <laughs> but not this Friday. Oh. Oh, this is called Anxious Friday. I have to do everything in my power to clean up the mess I made. The sleep I made. I think you remember. <laughs> I don't know whether Uche has told him. But for me to be safe and be on the safe side, let me tell him now and do everything to convince him so that by the time the news gets to him, he may probably take my side. I'll be how you see her. So, <clears throat> off your TV, make her off lights before I tiff my moves, I beg. Man, go do some, man. <clears throat> nah, yeah. oh. Would you? We are back early tonight. Yes, darling. I missed you so much. I just wanted to come home and spend time with you. How thoughtful. Thank you. I've been waiting up for you. Mm. I must have fallen asleep. Ah. We need to talk. Oh, baby, the talk can wait. Besides, I want to make up for lost time. You keep complaining of my absence, and I just want to show you how much I've missed you. And then, you know, I haven't thanked you enough since the last kidnap, so I just want to say thank you. You've thanked me enough, Ju. You don't have to show me more. Uche told me you visited the office in a bad state. Hey, my dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, at this point, eh, chai! I don't melt finish in fear. In fact, now run remain my run come out. Hey whoa. But then again, like Uncle Olu Jacob said in the 2013 AMVCA Awards, you have to try and try and try again. Biko, let's hope this try we work. Oh sweetie, forget about Uchi. Let's not ruin the moment. I want you. Did you not hear me? I said we need to talk. Ha, ah, sweetie, let's talk after now. Oh, I'm in the mood. And I'm in no mood for your rubbish. I said Uche told me of your trivial and disgraceful display at the office. And all you can say is, you're in the mood? So... It's not in all cases that you try and you win. Sometimes you try and it does not work out. You try another way. Ngwanu now, let's face it head on. Let's try the Uju way. I don't like these intrusions you bring to our marriage. Ah, it's almost as if you put me in one corner so that Uche can, can poke at me and trample upon me. Tanko, need I remind you that I'm your wife and I'm entitled to a percentage of your assets. So why you treat me like an outsider? I don't know. Especially when it, it comes to me asking you for money. Oh, please let me know if you're tired of the marriage so I can find my way and I can free you to marry Uche. Well, I hope this works so. If not before, he would beg and beg and even buy me presents, join. <laughs> but now, as things be as it be, I don't know. Pray for me, oh, make this thing work. You know something? I'm quite glad that you brought it up yourself. Because I've been thinking about it for quite some time now. Would you? You see, I no longer see you as that loving, caring, and understanding lady I met. Honey, what's that supposed to mean? Remember when I met you? You had just gone through a bad period in your life and needed a fresh start. You talked about selflessness and the need to want to correct the ills you did in the past. I married you because I thought I had finally found a soulmate who would grasp the essence of my vision and help with my work of charity. 
But like all the others who came after the death of my jail wife, you changed as soon as you were exposed to money. That I cannot live with. So I'm quite glad that you are considering divorce too. Divorce? Divorce? Okay now, it can't get any worse than this now. Ogatanko has brought up his playing cards to the field. It's time for me to dig in and bring my own playing cards to the field. After all, nothing they're going to salvage now. I might as well play my last game. Eh, so this is how you want to play it, Abby? Need I remind you that we married in court and therefore you cannot treat me anyhow. I deserve half of everything that you have. Hmm. Uche was quite right about you from the onset, except that I did not listen. My dear, did you read the prenup you signed? What is that? You do remember signing some papers in court, don't you? Mm hmm Well, you should have read it before signing the dotted lines. You live with nothing. Except out of the good of my heart, I decide to give you something. But other than that, you go with nothing. Right now, eh, all I can see is my mother raising her hand to the high heaven, shouting, hey, this is my picking, no go kill me, oh. Instead of taking her study seriously, oh, she was gallivanting round the place. Common prenuptial agreement she could not read. Hey! Mama, sorry, no verse. This one, I agree. See, I not read them. Hey! Jesus, oh. Make una learn from my own case, oh. Oh, only my savior. Only you who was there for me when I was drowning. Look at me, I remember the joy you said I brought to your life. Look at me, I remember how close we once were, please. I know that you have made up your mind to divorce me and you are very angry. And I know I will not stop you because I know you are a very principled man. But please, just, just one thing you will do for me. Just, just one thing. Please, I know that you are a man that has goodness inside of you. Please, because don't let me go like this. Just can you find it in your heart? Just small. I swear I will not live with nothing. Oh, babe, I beg you. I beg you, please. Would you? You see? It is out of the generosity of the good of my heart that I am not calling the police on you for setting up the kidnap. Forgive me. Now, use that money well and never come close to me again. Oh, it's me, oh, hey, it's your baby, oh. In fact, I would appreciate it if you could leave immediately. Before Monday, perhaps. Hi. Sorry. Who is this? Hmm? What went wrong? You lost your phone, I hope. No, I didn't. I see. Are you still upset with me? You know, the way you ran out that night, and you haven't called ever since. Forgive me for taking off after you set my manhood on fire! Come on, Victor. That was a mistake. I know. So why are you still acting up? Why bother, Chichi? Huh? You call me and you don't even ask how I'm doing. Oh, my love. I'm so sorry. I just assumed you were doing okay. Well, I am not. I still hurt.
As a matter of fact, it, it got so bad, I had to go to the hospital. Oh dear. Was it that serious? I didn't know. Chichi, hot wax was poured on my manhood. How serious do you think that is? Oh gosh, Victor. I really am sorry. I really didn't see what happened. I, I was caught up by the crazy interruption that happened to even notice your predicament. I'm so sorry. It's okay. What can I do to make you feel better? I don't know. I feel much better now, though. Last week was just pure torture. Do you want to come over so I can suit your pain? No. Nah. The kids are with me this weekend. Plus, the babysitter is off. And it's past 10. So, I don't think I could call my sister for any favors. I'll pass. All right, then. Can I come over? Mm, I, I don't know. Must you? Victor, I, I feel like I owe you, Victor. Let me come around, OK? Okay, sure. And let security know that you're coming. Oh, oh you poor thing. Yeah, baby, you poor thing. Mm. Mm. Oh, I couldn't help thinking how much pain I must have caused you. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. It's okay, baby. You don't have to keep apologizing. Let me make it up to you. Tell me your fantasies and I will make them come through. <clears throat> Obviously one that doesn't have to do with you. <laughs> you know? Who uh -huh. you? Sure. Out with it. <clears throat> All you have to do is ask. Oh. <laughs> okay. I feel like a one man show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. What exactly are you thinking? Oh, baby. The whole nine yards. You pick a character, and you perform that character. And then you play with yourself until you reach that ultimate pick. Hey, hey, hold up. You want me to pleasure myself till I pick? I want to watch you get there, baby. That is not for me. Yet you pride yourself as the number one pleasure provider in Lekki. Tell me, what constitutes as pleasure, if I may ask? Candle waxing, wax on, wax on, oh, burn right, my dick. All right, Rita. I won't stand here and watch you go all crazy. You know me better than that. I beg you, go. I'm gone for good. Yes, go. Pleasure provider, go. Candle wax on me. What do you want? I have no need for you. Baby, why are you not in bed? Daddy, who is that auntie that just walked away from your room? Um, ah, don't worry about her. Why are you not in bed? Why are you not sleeping? Daddy, I'm scared. All right, come, baby, come. Come here, okay? I'm scared, Daddy. Where is Mommy? Mommy? Um... Why are you two longer living together? Don't worry about darling, okay? Mommy... Is at home, I guess. Okay, Daddy. All right. Daddy will keep you safe, okay? Come. Good night, Good Daddy. I Good. love you. I love you too. Come here. Daddy, hold me tight. The innocence of children. So sweet.
good. <laughs> Just knock it down. Sit down. So, um, do you want to talk about last night? Do you? I, no, yeah, you know, I don't want to look like, um, you know, I took advantage of you or anything like that, you know. So. You didn't take advantage of me. I initiated it. Okay, that's uh, good to know. So, uh, are you going to tell your sister or your mom about it? <laughs> Come on, William. I'm a big girl now. You and my sister are no longer together, and besides, I like you just the way you are. <sighs> wow. You don't know how relieved I am to hear that. <laughs> it's like, I've been battling with these thoughts all through the night, and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's good to know that we're cool. Indeed we are. <laughs> So, um, what's going to happen since you're, you're going to have to leave soon? Um, I can stay for a while longer if you want me to, because I'm not due for service yet. Well, how about your mom? You said she was ill and needed some money. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, um, on my way to work tomorrow, I think I'll stop and paying some money for her. Is there an account I can use? Uh, um, <coughs> no. She, she doesn't have an account, but you can give me a check and I'll pay it into my account because I left my ATM card in any room, so she'll use that. Okay, okay, that's, uh, that's fine then. Thank you so much, William. I mean, you're such a good man. I wonder why Love had treated you so badly. Well, it's okay. Now, you know, I really would appreciate if we you know, don't talk about Love whenever we're together. I mean, that, that's what you do. What in the world is going on with my sister? Why is she not taking my calls? Um, you know what, just carry on with your meal. Let me go and get things started for lunch, okay? okay? When you're done, leave the plates there. I'll come and clear them. Thank you. You're welcome. God bless you. She didn't even touch her food. I mean, why would she just switch off on me when I need to be giving a minute-by-minute minute report on all that is going on? I'm really starting to freak out here. A minute or five earlier, I would have drained you to a sumptuous breakfast. Well, good for you. You know I have a woman at home that pampers me. I'm loaded as usual. <laughs> you know, sometimes I wonder if that girl just wants to get me fat so she can have me all to herself. I kid you not. <laughs> She keeps bringing the food. I don't know how to say no. <laughs> At this point, I'm not so you will not change. <laughs> well, like, yeah, uh, you know, at least your wife knows you don't cheat. You know, of course, knows you don't cheat. So, what's going on? How was um, how was the service? Good as usual. And as usual, you did not come, William. You know you're messing up, right? I know, I know. Maybe next Sunday. Well, that's what you say every other Sunday. Wait a minute, what do we have here? Sausages, eggs, bread, and tea. Oh boy! Is there a takeout for anyone around here I, know, I don't know about? Where did you get all this from? from? Man, dude, I've been sent a helper, man. I've been sent a mate. I tell you, it's, she's, she's a divine creature I should have met ages ago. Oh. Who, who sent her? Is she your mate or something? Of course not. You're really calling her your mate? Yeah, look, dude, she just got sense. Okay, how do you describe a girl, right, who you met the night before, right? Mm -hmm. Same night, she cleans up your shower, your bathroom, and your wardrobe. Same night, she knocks you off this sumptuous meal. Same night, she got me screaming, and I'm a water! <laughs> dude, man! And then she wakes up this morning and does this, like, seriously, man, who does this? So I'm not letting her go, that's for sure. Wow. So you met a girl? Yes, I have. That's nice. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> now you can stop being uh, jealous of me. <laughs> so, um, oh, here she is. Yes, baby. Um, 
Not so. Here is Annette. Annette, this is uh, my boy, Not so. Hi. How are you doing? You look awfully family. Yeah, you too. You're his best man at the wedding. And we dance at the after party. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> and you're the lovest maid of honor, yeah. her sister. Mm -hmm. So, what, are you, what brings you here? Uh, is Something is burning. Yeah. Excuse me. Is she the one you're talking about? Yes, 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 she is. Well, what's your problem now? Shut your mouth. William, have you lost it? Of all the women in this world, you choose love that sister. What is your problem? Keep it down. Come to the show. Cut. Okay, end it now. Okay, look. I don't want you making her uncomfortable. Okay? And we're not discussing this. We're not discussing this. I'm not a word to love it. Dad, Doya is crying. She says she wants to follow Antonika to the park to play. Yeah, it's all right then. Um, tell Auntie Nika to take care of you guys, okay? Dad, me, I don't want to go. Okay. Go to your room and watch TV then. Okay, Daddy. Now, what has a man got to do with himself now? How do handicapped survive? It's insane, man. Precious, could you please knock next time you come in, okay? This is Daddy's room. Daddy, I'm scared to be alone. Scared of what now? B baby, Daddy's busy. Mommy always talk about the monster and I'm scared. Oh, look, never mind Mommy, okay? She's only joking. Can I stay with you, Dad? Sure, come. Let us read your book together. No. This book is for adults, okay? Not for you. Okay, Daddy. Um, here. Read this one. Dad, can we play a game? This book is so boring. Play what game now? Let's play dress up like mommy does. Dress up game like mommy does? Yes. Okay. Um but you can't tell mommy, yeah? Okay. She won't like it at all. I promise I won't tell anybody. Story. Good morning. Ah. Sit down. Is that why you're not answering my greetings? Sit down. Sit down. Aren't you going to ask me why I came and what happened? I didn't take your call. Look at this girl waltzing her way through my door and acting like I should be concerned for her. Hey! Love it. What won't you see in this your lifetime? See small Annette too. Just because I asked her to do me a favor. <laughs> it's all right. He who wants something plays nice until he gets whatever he wants. Or oh, however it is said. Wait though, Annette. You left here on Friday with the plan of making sure that William takes you to his place and makes you comfortable enough for you to have access to his room so that he can get out any important documents or even money if you find some, Abby. Yes. So what do you have? Because I don't even want to go into any long talk. Well, I got to his house quite all right. But he was always policing my every move. He was just always there. It's like he knew I was up to something. The one time he went out, he rushed right back and almost caught me in the act. What are you talking about? You mean he didn't go anywhere throughout Friday, Saturday or Sunday? No, he didn't. Annette, William never stays home on the weekend. He always has a ton of things to do. The only thing that keeps him at home is if there's something exciting going on, like a football match or something. So I'm surprised that you are saying that he did not go anywhere. Uh -uh. You mean you didn't get anything at all? Mm, he gave me 400,000. 400 k mm. How did you do that? Well, I just told him that Mom C is critically sick and he had money to send to her, blah, blah, blah. And he gave me 400,000. Ah, William. See how he's spending my money. William, wherever you are, take 10. Thief! This is the check. 
You know what? Go and cash it. Then pay it into my account now, now, now. Okay. But I'll take my cut from inside. Ha ba, Nate. I'm sure you can squeeze a little something out for yourself now. Sis, don't do like this. Mm -mm. You know what? Go back in. Go and tell him that you are paid it in. In fact, now that he's not at home, go back and ransack the house. Okay, I can do that. I wish I could go with you because I know how he keeps his things. But don't worry, just go. And make sure you find something, eh? And for God's sake, Annette, please answer your calls. You almost panicked me big time when I was calling you and you didn't he answer. He was always around me. I couldn't take the call. What do you mean he was always around you? As in, he was always with me then. Now I couldn't pick. Eh, just go. Annette, see you. I'm counting on you to pull this through. Remember that this guy ruined my life. Keep it at the back of your mind, whatever you do. Shame. No, eh? Trust me. Man, I don't have brought this money for you. Eh? <laughs> Big sis of life. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have a good job. I missed you. Yeah, good. Go, go. <laughs> All right, okay. now later. Take care, you. I yeah. will. Well, 400k for a start. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good evening, Uncle Ibe. Mm -hmm. Precious, how are you? I'm fine. Have you seen my dad? He's not back here, too. Oh, my God. I want him to play dress-up game with me. Huh? Your dad plays dress-up game with you? Yes. Seriously? Yes. Hey, Victor. You know what, eh? Hmm? I love to play the dress up game. So, can we play it? Let me go and bring the wig. Okay. Story, 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 story. Wow. I can, I can promise you, you'll be looking like mommy when you're done. Yeah? Wow. You know, I just thought that you grow up to become such a pretty grown up woman. Ah, uh, Ibe. Go. What do you want to rest? No, somebody just called me now and I just have to leave. Do you see my slippers? <laughs> Look, Precious is not in her room. Have you seen her? I can see. Ibe, what? What have you done to my child? Listen, listen, listen. Uh, she, she, she came here and she, she came looking for you. She was all dressed up. She said, said she, she wanted to play the, 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 the pretend game. What see, are you saying to me? Listen, listen. See, I, 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 I didn't walk in the me. I'm sorry. No, 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 in harm's way. I promise this will never happen again, okay? Uncle Ibe is a bad person, okay? Precious baby, you have to promise me you are not going to tell your mommy about this, okay? I'm sorry. Blood of Jesus, Victor! Get away from my child! Victor, what is this? Ah, Victor, I suspected it, oh my god! No, Victor! Victor! Your child, the child from your loins! You don't listen to me! How can you do it to us? She's nine years old! Victor! Ah. Oh, my heavenly father! How do I even begin to tell this story of incest? Why would God even allow something like this to happen? Why allow the thought to cross his mind? I knew there was something fishy going on when my precious, a mere nine-year-old child came back home and went straight for my makeup bag. She put on my lipstick, she wanted a wig and she reached for my belt. When precious said, lie down for a good flogging, I knew the worst had happened. I knew. When my precious voiced those words, mommy lie down, let's play a pretend game. You, you be the, the naughty woman, I'll be, I'll be the, the teacher. I knew, I knew something barbaric had happened to my child. I knew Victor had instilled in her a part of his wickedness. 
I summoned up the courage to ask her what happened and being the child that she is, she said, Mommy, I won't tell you because Daddy said I shouldn't tell anybody. Daddy said that? I asked again and again, hoping that she would say no, that it was some sort of mistake. But again and again, my baby said yes. Now, I know my husband. When he has a fetish, he overkills it. So I knew that this weekend when I dropped her off, I had to make an unannounced re-entry. And what do I find? A sublime case of abomination. Oh my God. <laughs> Peace. 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 You need to stop crying and start thinking about what you should do about this. <laughs> what Peace. is there for me to do for goodness sake, Miranda? I'm just coming from the police station. They told me to, to file a complaint and then they said they can't get involved because it's a domestic issue. <laughs> so because it's considered domestic crime, it's no crime again. I am Miranda. <laughs> What kind of era are we living in? I can't help but think of the many other children that are going through this exact same thing in their different homes around the country. What do these people run to for help? Miranda, where do these people go? Peace. Hey. You see, the yes. truth is, all hope is not lost. Hmm? See, I, I once heard of a woman's center here in Lekki. And some hotline numbers to call if you're undergoing domestic violence or child abuse of any sort. Hmm? See, when these matters are reported to them, they take it upon their hands to report it to the appropriate authorities, who will in turn make the arrest or something in that line. So please, stop crying and get to action. See, they will invite him for a talk then take his own statements. And if possible, get a court order to restrain him from seeing the child. So, please, all hope is not lost. Are you serious? I'm, how come I never heard of this before? That was because you were too caught up in the Holy Spirit to watch TV, read papers, or surf the net. Get calling, will you? Okay. Please, give me the number. Please, please, please. Stop crying, okay? Okay. You're the vicious kid. Oh, I thought I stored the number. Oh, oh, you know what? Let's just search for them online, okay? Okay. Let's just soften it. Mm. Okay. I see one here. This one is Project Alert. Um, Project Alert on violence against the woman and the girl child in Nigeria. Fine, this is good. Um, let me search for their address. Okay, um, I see an Abuja address here. Are they here? And, okay, their Lagos address. Number 21, Akin Soyan Street. Off Isheri Road, Taiwo Bus Stop, hmm? Ojudu Bega. Okay. And the numbers. Okay, take the numbers down. Okay. Number. Hold on. Okay, number. Hmm. This one is a landline. Zero one. Eight two zero. Nine three. Eight seven. There's another one too. Okay. Zero eight zero. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Zero eight zero. Yeah. Five two double zero. Four six. Nine eight. And then the last one. This is the three. Zero eight one. Okay. Eight double zero. Zero eight one. Yeah. Eight double zero. Nine one. Nine one. Zero seven two. Zero seven two. And then the email too. Project Alert at projectalertng.org or info at projectalertng.org. Okay, let's just go with that. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Uh, 
um, I'm Mrs. Musu. I'd, I'd like to lay a complaint of child abuse. <laughs> My husband. Yes, he molested our daughter. Nine years old. Okay. Please, when, when can I come in? All right, thank you. Bye. Miranda, thank you so much. May God bless you. Bless you too, darling. Hmm? Just stop crying. Everything will be fine. You hear? I can't help you, Miranda. I just... I keep seeing this picture of Precious and Victor. I guess I just I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> oh, please stop. Stop crazy. You're a strong woman. Have you forgotten that? <laughs> Why would you do something like this? <laughs> stop crying. Just be strong, okay? This is the first time. <laughs> please, can someone tell me how a full blooded grown up man can take a second look at his own blood daughter? How? Are we in times of Sodom and Gomorrah, where incest was the order of the day? I thought God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Is that what we want to happen to our own generation? What kind of abomination is this? <sighs> I can't even get myself to picturing Victor and that innocent girl. If peace hadn't walked in on them, would they have gone all the way? <sighs> I don't even want to think about it. I'm so grossed out. Totally. Story, 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 story. Hey, babe. So good <sighs> for you to finally show your face. So sorry, love. It's been a hectic week. See this one, blatantly lying to me. After dodging me for a week plus. After I told him that the situation at home was not good and I had been kicked out with no money. It was a tell and say money day. You will see how he would have landed and helped me spend the money. Anyway, no wala. And the week before that? I traveled. So you don't take calls when you travel? Oh, I do, I do. But for some reason, every time I picked up a call, I just couldn't hear you. I know for a fact that he did not travel any Kobo. He was in this lecky, cruising around with other rich girls. But I will let it slide for now. I have another plan, and I need his help. Ken, please don't let me go through what I went through without you. I was depressed. How could you leave me alone to deal with this situation all by myself? You mean you're still in that mess? You haven't sorted it out like I advised? I tried to, but he bluntly refused. So I packed my things like he asked me to, but I didn't pack everything. So I could use that to hatch my plan. What plan? I plan for us to involve your boys as planning robbery. I don't want to leave empty handed now, Ken. Hmm. Oh, Ju. Hmm? Are you sure you want to do this? You know blood will flow. Ah, let blood flow. It will be the blood of that stingy old man. You know, Chinedu, my brother, told me that there were bags of money delivered to the house yesterday night. Hundreds of thousands of USD. Like this. For real? For a Thanksgiving party he intends to throw at the end of the month. Usually, what he does with these Thanksgiving parties, he invites all these orphanage homes mm. and they come. Hmm? Mm. At the end of the party, he now puts these monies, thousands of dollars, in envelopes and gifts and gives out to people. Now, my thinking is that if we can intercept the money mm. before the party, all of us will be happy now. Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. And then, instead of a Thanksgiving party, there will now be a funeral service. Would you? Would you? Sounds good to me. All right then. Let's let's plan. All right. I'll get the boys involved. Mm -hmm. So, what is going to be my cut? Fifty-fifty, I propose. Ah, eighty-twenty, okay. Hmm. My dear, 
50-50. I insist. After all, it's me and my boys that are going to carry out the plan. Hmm. I provided the info. Without the info, would you even know there's a job? Well, now that I know, don't you think we can pull it off alone? 50-50, I insist. Still, how are you going to get in? I have to pretend that you're my driver. Who's coming to help me pack the remainder of my things? You're really not a bad girl, you know? What do you mean? Never mind. Mm? Never mind, my love. Mm? I'll do it. Mm? For the sake of love. Mm? My love. <laughs> I'll do it. Oh, mm? my baby. Mm. For the sake of love, come. For the sake of hate me. This guy is a total gigolo. Raised to power 400. Plus 419. Plus Tiff. Join. Add it to all his titles. But don't worry, me Uju, I will play him to his game. No problem. Yeah, hold on. Ah. Good evening, Ma. Yeah, good um, evening, my daughter. Is Miranda in? Um, I'd like oh. to see her. Are you a close friend of hers? Yes, ma. Uh, may I come in? Oh, please do oh, so. Come in. Thank come you. In. Do have your seats. Well, <laughs> uh, so, is it possible to just um, call her for me? Thank oh, yes. You. You'll give me a minute. I'll go and check her in her room if she's there. Because one minute she is here, and the next minute she's in Dubai. <laughs> yes. Well, I'll just wait right here whilst you go and check. Okay. Thank give you. Give me a minute. Hmm? Needless to say, I am very disappointed Miranda's living space. I mean, what is this? This could easily pass for my workers' quarters. Are things that bad? Wow, judging from the way she shops and throws money about, you might think that everything is okay with her. Waka, are you here? Take five. Ew. Come into my house to badmouth my living space. She has no clue who I was before this present status. That is why she can yarn dust. She had better continue looking for me because I am not about to show any time soon. I can't find her in her room. Oh, that's a shame. Well, um, do tell her Aisha came by to see her. Okay, I will. Okay, thank you. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Are you a very close friend of hers? Yes. Are you one of those that she travels to Dubai with? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Are you married? Yes. Does your husband support you financially? Absolutely. Um, is there a problem? You see, Aisha, distraction is what my daughter doesn't need right now. And she has been through a lot lately. And life is no longer the way it used to be. There is the kids' school fees to be paid, the house rent to be paid, food supply, and general upkeep. The last thing she needs are friends who will push her to spend money on unnecessary things when there are more important things to spend money on. Hmm. I would like you to think twice before encouraging her to behave like a fool. See, Mr. Trouble, it's more than a baby to be forced to doing something she doesn't want to do. How am I supposed to know she's living in lack when she doesn't tell me anything? Am I some kind of a, a magician or, or a psychic? And the way Miranda carries herself is so intimidating to anyone who can hold her own. Honestly, this woman should leave me and go and face her daughter, not me. Okay, Mama. I hear you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, the kids, uh, how are they doing? Uh, you know I haven't seen them before. Is it okay if I say oh, hi? the kids. Yeah. Oh, they have already retired for the night. Oh, already? No, Mama. That's the case with kids living in this axis. Mm -hmm. Lucky. They wake up early so as to meet up with the school bus by 5.30 a.m. so as to beat the traffic. Fake. And to come back home again by 4 or 5 p.m. if caught in the traffic. Mm -hmm. And when they got back home, it's still the same round-the-clock routine again. They don't play like kids ought to. It saddens my heart. Mm. But what do I do? I can imagine. Oh. My daughter insists on living in Lekki. <sighs> Mama, 
That is the unfortunate situation we find ourselves in. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's lucky living, isn't it? Ah, oh, indeed. Mm. Anyway, Mama, do you know what? Um, I just have a little something for the kids. Yeah, nothing major, just a little something. Just buy them um, some snacks for school, something really small. Okay? <laughs> Thank you very oh, much. Don't. Thank you, my daughter. It's my pleasure, no problem. Are you sure? You don't want me to offer you anything? Oh no, Mama. Don't, 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 don't bother. But uh, make sure you tell me when I was here to see I her. I will, okay? my dear. I okay. will. My love to the kids. Take thank care. You. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Go well, my dear. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Typical, isn't it? <laughs> the tune always changes when money exchanges hands. You better keep that money close, Oma, before Miranda realizes I've been generous to you. Because she'd rather die than to take money from the competition. Ha! Four hundred dollars. And she tells me it's a little something. Ha! <sighs> Children of nowadays. Anyway, it is my time to start eating. Oh, yes. <laughs> Risha, thank you. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Please, has anyone seen my sister Annette? I'm beginning to have a very funny feeling, oh. If only I knew where William lived, I would have paid them both a visit regardless of whether I blow her cover or not. I mean, she's been acting really weird. It's been two weeks since she came here, and I'm yet to hear from her. She keeps cutting my calls every time I call, and I am really not finding it funny. Maybe I should get in touch with Nun so I'm begging for William's address. I think I'm just going to have to do that because I can't continue to wait in hope forever now. Um, you know, here's the list, Hey, 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 hey. Sorry. That's okay. Where are you coming from? <laughs> just went down the list. Sure, you must be starving. Yes, I am. I'm going to fix you something nice. Alright. <laughs> Dude, that's what I'm talking about, Mary. That, that's what I'm talking about. That's a woman. I mean, fuck, man. Heaven sent. Dude, who does this on a daily basis? I tell you, man, she's got to... I'm so married, that girl. It's not even funny. <laughs> like, seriously, she showed me more than enough, and I'm all down with it. God damn it. Guy, mm. you know better than to think I'll be impressed by all this, right? <laughs> Who cares what you think, man? All that matters is what I and my girl think. Bam. <laughs> yeah. You're already calling her your girl? Dude, I am so sad for you. Yeah, yeah, Choo. yeah, yeah. Whatever makes you sleep better at night. You know what? I'm gonna get you what you came for so that you can uh, <laughs> leave me alone to my groove. <laughs> Cause you are so, <laughs> so unbelievable. Mouse. Huh. Where's William? Just how are you planning on pulling this pants of yours, girl? Nonsu, stay out of my life. Whatever I do with it is none of your business. Understand? Mm. I can see you have no shame. Jumping into bed with your sister's husband. Ex-husband, please. Mm. Does that make it any better? Mm? Is that what makes you sleep well at night? Have you no shame at all? How can you... That is enough, Nonsu. I think you've said enough for today. Yeah. We'll talk about this in the office tomorrow. Yeah. Good night, Nanzo. Sorry, come here. 
William, is this the reaction I'm going to be getting from anybody who finds out about both of us? It just makes me wonder if this is even worth it. Oh, come on. How are you going to allow that affect you? Baby, what you feel no more, doesn't that matter? Huh? Are you going to run away at every small provocation? Come on. William, I like you. I really, really do. And I'd hate to let this go. But I'm just tired of being called names just because I fell for a man who I was sent to. Uh, I'm sorry. To what? <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Did, did I hear you well? You said you were sent to. <laughs> so you were sent? By who? Lovett, right? Right? Yes, yes. Lovett planned it all. I swear, I had no hand in it. I guess I failed. But I never ever planned to fall in love with you. <laughs> Lovett, Lovett. Hello, Lovettes. How are you? Hell yeah, this is me. I wanted to congratulate you on your efforts. Yeah. Unfortunately for you, your sister's cover has been blown. A quick word of advice. Whenever you want to do your dirty job, don't use actual human beings. William, I am so, so sorry. My feelings for you are real, I promise. Please. You don't want to know what my feelings are for you right about this moment. You... Daughter of Jesse Bell! How could you? But how was I to know that you and I would fall in love? Prepare to leave from whence you came. William, William, please, William, hear me out, William! Wait a minute, folks. It appears that the worst has happened. William has not only found me out, but is having an affair with my sister, Annette. Nonsu has just confirmed it. <laughs> there is a saying that who the gods plan to kill, they first make mad. See, eh? God is about to finish both William and my sister, and he's going to do so through me. Love it. Hey! Abomination to the highest order. Annette and William. Oh, this is horrible. Detestable, monstrous, offensive, and definitely an awful abomination. Ha! Ah. <laughs> no, this is the last straw. And if need be, I will kill somebody in cold blood. Grace. Grace. Yes, ma'am. Come. Come in. I sit here today because I have a plan. A plan to bear it all in hope of getting through to the sensitive part of Otumba's trusted maid, Grace. You see, I have tried severally to get tangible information concerning the camera planted in my room, but she's not forthcoming. So today, I plan to do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. You know, so I can get something, something out of her, whatever, something. Grace, please, I beg you, sit down. Ma, please, stop it. Stop pushing this issue. I told you all I know, and I don't know anything else. The only thing you told me 
is that there was indeed a secret camera in my room when Otumba killed my baby in there. I don't know about Otumba killing your baby. What is it with you all choosing to turn a blind eye over what happened in broad daylight? Why would everyone all of a sudden claim not to have heard or seen anything that day? When I'm in my room, I clearly hear you talking in the kitchen. So how come the walls all of a sudden became soundproof? Huh? Ma, please, let's just leave it, please. Let's leave it like that, please. Let's leave it like that. How much did he pay you? I can pay you twice as much. Ma, please, let me advise you. What you are doing is not good. You go asking all of us about Otumba. And you know if Otumba finds out, it's going to bring you more trouble. Ma, why don't you just leave him and go? I know you're not happy here. I know you did not come back because you love him, Ma. And I see you when you go into his room and spy when he goes to work. Ma, all these things I know. And see how you let your guard down. And Otumba can work in any time. And you know it's dangerous. Ma, please, just go, please. Go before Otumba finds out and does something bad to you. What else can he do to me that he hasn't done already? Hmm? My world is finished. A man who killed my love and my baby. <laughs> I will not sleep until I bring him to book. Please. You must help me, Grace. Please. Huh? The fact that you haven't said anything about what you know goes to say a lot about the kind of person you are. You're a good woman. And you have a good heart. And God will surely bless you, please. Ma, I can't. I am sorry. Uh, Otumba has been my support for so long. And I can't betray him like that. Please. I'm on my knees. Please help me. Please. No, don't. Madam, please don't. Please. I beg you. Please you have a me. child, don't you? Yes, ma. A boy or a girl? A girl, ma. How old is she? She's three years old, ma. What if someone killed her in cold blood? How would you feel? God will not let it happen, ma. What if someone you knew took a gun and shot her point blank? Eh, Grace? What would you do? A product of yourself? Huh? Okay, okay. I think we're heading somewhere. Hmm. Let me push in some more. How do we not let it happen? What if all that was left for you were her dead body in your palm, soaked in blood? Do you imagine how that would make you feel? Huh? How the sight of that can mess up your head forever. How sad and angry you feel that you couldn't do anything to save her life. Grace, all these emotions and more are what I feel. And now the only thing that can make these emotions go away is if I can have a closure. Now you're the only one that can help me get that closure, Grace. Please, I need your help. Please. I will be forever grateful. Please. Stop, please. <laughs> Promise me you, you will not involve me in the case. Ah, I promise. I promise. Thank you. Thank you. And that's how I got exactly what I wanted. The detailed, detailed knowledge of what transpired before and after that fateful day. Ah. At last, I smell justice finally coming and finding its way to Otuma's house. Grace, you have no idea 
Thank you. Where are you going? You asked me to leave, didn't you? And I how could you, how could you do this? How could I what? How could you do what you did? I mean, you jumped into playing ball to your sister's antics. What, did she tell you what she did to me? Isn't it too late for all this right now? I tried talking to you the whole of last night. You wouldn't even look at me. Well, I was upset to say the least. And I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. Look. My sister asked me for help and I obliged her. What wrong did I do in that? I never meant to fall in love with you. I never even had it at the back of my mind. But I did. And now it's ended, so... Let me just get going. Wait. You know I love you, right? Hard to tell the way you acted last night. Well, I do. Okay. And you need to believe it. <sighs> you know, when I went drugging, I had some time to think, you know, clear my mind. And I realized if not for your sister's treacherous plan, I, I never would have met you. I'm glad you didn't need to stop. <sighs> so, what do you say? What? Stay with me. If you say you love me the way you do, then then let's, let's stay together and fight this battle with me. I, I know it's going to be rough initially, but everything will calm down eventually. Will you? Yes, I will. You will? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> what you did to me, sleeping with my landlord? Do you know how much I hurt? Well, I guess you do now. Oh my god, you even slept with my friend's life. The like... friend you set up for me. How could you even bring that up? Can you not say no? Does your sex dictionary have yes in it? I was lonely and I needed company. How could you crucify me for going out with Sly, who I didn't even know was your friend? I was there for you. Remember, you had me. Not after my bright price was returned, I didn't. Would you force my hand into doing after you slept with our landlord? Can you please just stop repeating that? Did it not happen? It happened, didn't it? Well, now you know what karma is, don't you? Oh. So my sister is my karma. Dear sister, your work is done. Now get out! Go and face your demons! Go where? Get out! Go where? Face which demons? She's not going anywhere. She's staying here with me. As a matter of fact, I like her. I like her very much. William, please don't say that. Please don't say that. We are sisters. Blood sisters. And we are adults. Full-blown adults. William, she's your sister-in-law. Not anymore. But she remains my sister. Which is why I have taken to her. You see, she reminds me a lot about you. She is not. 
and can never be me. I know, which is why I'm with her because I don't want you. Over my dead body. When that happens, I will be sure to give you a befitting burial. I mean, it's the least I can do for my ex-wife. Now get out! Lovett, I said get out. Can I at least talk to my sister? You have one minute. And you better not lay a finger on her. Annette, Ige Mefa is Yoko. Yes, I love him. Kifin Yoko. He marry Ofuma. I'm sorry, but we've grown to love each other. Okay, my figure, me mean that you know. Nothing will happen. He's no more your husband. Nsikwana Ankachia. You don't. Kiki Siwema. Because you're my sister, and I know you, you hate him. He is not your husband. Not since the return of your bride price. You will not get away with this. Love it, I'm sorry. Blame it on love. Sorry. What is it? Must I make comments on every single occurrence in my life? Aisha. Aisha, how have you been? Uh, I've been all right. I'm just a little busy. Hmm. Too busy to pick up my calls and answer my BBM. I totally wanted to be in my own space since I could no longer keep up appearances. But thanks to you and your display of wealth, my mom has completely taken to you and has been disturbing me to come and see you. So here I am, ready for your scrutiny. I just wanted some time off and some time alone to put things in the right perspective. Anything you want to share? No. Are you sure? Yes, Aisha, I'm sure. And why carry no one as if I'm some sort of charity case? Why? See what I told you? She's already getting defensive when I haven't even started. Where did the word charity come from? You know, I've been by your house three times already this week. And every time, giving my mom $400 but never telling me? You're not picking up my calls, so how was I supposed to tell you anything, Miranda? So why the routine checkup and money give out to my mom anyways? Why? It's totally uncalled for. Did I tell you I needed help? That's not what your mother said every time I go and see her. What's with this whole I don't need help attitude? Sister girl, you are broke. Own up and let somebody with plenty help you. This whole, I don't need help, won't cut it. Miranda, I can tell when all is not with a friend. No one needs to spell it out for me to see. The signs are glaring right at me. So what do you mean by that? I hope you're not trying to insult me because you give my mom $1,200. Well, I can pay you back if you want, because I won't take lightly your insinuations. You see why I was minding my own business, JJ, when I found out I could not keep up with Aisha. You see why? These days, people hardly help you for the sake of it. They do so to feel superior to you or to have something on you. I don't know why Cleo gave her my house address. So I don't know. Now and I have to keep up with this show of hers. Lord, I'm sorry you feel insulted. But, but you're too good to be where you are right now. I know that you told me that you, 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 you ended everything with your husband and you, you gave everything to him and you want to start from scratch and all that, but I've been there, I've been through that because I went through the same thing. And I hate to see you um, lacking when I have excess of what you need. Please, I just, I just want to help. Thanks, babes. 
but I'm holding him fine. No, you're not, Miranda. Trust me, I am. Unbelievable. Ha! This chick would rather live in luck than to let her guards down. Talk about living a lie. What kind of friends does she have anyway? <sighs> Sad. I'd rather live a lie than to succumb into getting help and support from a friend. I have seen too many dramas to last me a lifetime and I do not want to get into another. So Aisha, thanks but no thanks. <sighs> okay. Drinks? Yes, a brandy will do. Right. One second. <sighs> yeah, Olamide, um, can you bring two, two glasses of, you know what, bring two glasses, a bucket of ice and a bottle of brandy upstairs right now. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. How have you been? Hanging in there. Are you going to return in the night? Do you want me to? Hmm. Let me see. Do I want you to spend the I night? I know. Oh, oh, thank you so much for meeting me here. Oh, it's okay. Um, I'm very sorry for keeping you waiting, okay? Mm. It was due to the rounds. We were doing the rounds, that's mm. why. Okay. Uh, let me bring you up to speed with where things are concerning your case. Okay. You see, we did invite your husband for questioning and he bluffed. Victor Mosu, wherever you are this minute, I speak restlessness to your soul. I speak uneasiness to your spirit. I declare chaos in your mind. I pray for weakness on your body. God will expose you, Victor, no matter how hard you try to cover up your mess. My God will expose you. Please calm down, madam. Let me finish, okay? Like I said, the first invite was sent him and he was a no-show. Then we sent out a second one, but this time with a copy to his place of work. Good. That should scare him and make him show up. Of course he did. And when he came, he also gave his statements. What did he say? <laughs> well, he denied everything just as suspected. But not to worry, madam. We will surely get to the bottom of this, okay? We have informed the appropriate authorities involved and the date has been fixed for a private hearing. Mm. But I will need you to come with your daughter. She will have to tell her own side of the story to the group. Oh my God, do we have to, do we have to involve the poor thing in this mess? It's bad enough she sees daddy as a bad man. Does she ever have to be in the same room with him again? I'm afraid she has to, madam. Your husband is not making it easy for the law to prosecute him. So right now, it is being treated as a case of hearsay. And what you reported to us is not enough to establish a strong case. So right now, my dear, it is your word against his. And now that he's saying you're trying to get back at him for cheating on, him, on you, and this is your way of doing it, it's not helping matters at all. It's not. Jesus Christ! Calm down, madam. Everything is going to be fine. Hey! I will forward you with dates, okay? Get your daughter prepared, please. Okay? It's okay. Um, thank you so much. It's okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, take care. Oh, Finn. Okay, Lord. I know I've not been in sync with you lately, but please, I also know that by your grace, I'm allowed to come into your presence. Please, Lord, vindicate me and my daughter. Please, I know you will. I know he will. Or will he? Mama, please, I ask for your mercy. I was wrong in my actions towards you. I was wrong to, to speak to you the way that I did. I was wrong to, to have walked out on you. I'm sorry. I, I can't help thinking that I'm being punished for messing with you and getting caught up in sin. I know the Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Please, forgive me. I've wronged you greatly. <sighs> Stand up, Sister Peace. I bear no grudge at all. You see, even the strongest of believers have fallen by the wayside. But it's not whether you fall, but if you're able to pick up yourself from that fall and carry on. My prayer for you has been for God to not let you stay down forever. I'm happy you're back, Sister Peace. God is indeed great. Hmm? Come. Thank you so much, Pastor. 
Yes. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you so much for your prayers. It's I really right. appreciate it's it. All right, my dear. It's all right. So, my dear, how have you been? Pastor, where do I start? Sister, peace. Let it all out. God is still God. The Bible says he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He says, cast all your burdens on me, and I will take care of you. It is well. Mama, my household has crumbled. We're now in the process of a court hearing. Sister Peace, I, are you serious? What exactly is the matter? My husband, he, he molested our daughter. Jehovah, Rimbusinti, Rimbusinti, Bus, the King of Glory. Oh. He, he did that and now he's denying it. Oh. I don't know. I don't know why God is allowing all of this happen to me. I can't help but feel like he's punishing me for falling by the wayside. Oh. Um, it's, it's all right, stop it. You just relax. You sit down and watch Jesus take the will. Okay? Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for this day. I am overjoyed that your daughter, Peace Owosu, has found her way back to the church. Please, Lord, vindicate me and my daughter. I know you will, Lord. I know you will. I know he will. Her home, oh Lord, is not crumbling. But you, Lord, will do everything that you want to do in your own way. Because the Bible says you make all things beautiful in your time. Now, what's in the Yahweh you tell me for? for? Now, what's in the ground be that too? You sure say now what's in you want to be that? Your guy can't no one you. One me say what's in you? Ah, so many times, when woman they vex with her husband or her boyfriend, now so then go plan set up for the man. After, mm. they'll come regret. You sure say now what's in you want? Because if we kill him, you don't die. Oh. Kibi, I don't think the matter well. Oh. I don't think him. Uh, mm. Trust me. The thing be say, if we don't end her now, he go no say na me set this job. As you don't already know, Sinami set up the kidnap. Ah, serious? I did tell you now. And he no call police for you? No, he no call police. Ah, that one be say, why you won't end up now? Be like, say, the man, they good to you. Yeah, KB, good. Good person, they drive person come out for us. No one kobo, no one pounds, no one dollars for hand. He just drive me come out like that. Me, in wife. Which kind of good person be that? I better go. If you want that me to die, I don't already make up my mind. Saying go go. Ah, if not so ain't no try. Ah, okay. It's supposed to, to you. Anyhow. Hmm? Anyways, we don't plan her. Now month end we'll go activate the job. If months end like this, we don't enter. No yawa. Ken don't tell me. Mm -hmm. No shaking. We'll go do the job. One hundred percent. Thank you, KB. Hmm. Still, oh, we get another matter. I be won't follow you, yeah, no. Uh -huh. Would you? I know now. I know be Jew man now. You know, say you don't say why don't they look you, and I know say you don't notice her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see this half baked cockroach. Chai, would you? Not to you don't go see for this your life, oh. Hey, <laughs> okay. So he thought that I invited him here. To patronize the advances towards me. Guy, be warned though. If only you know how your mouth they smell. That's the way you talk so. Wallahi, you know for grief, come out and for your mouth at all. Hey, KB, KB. KB of life. You be sharp guy. Can't know so you sharp like this. That make me like you. But you know this thing with the hands, so. We go jam and for front. I think. So no wala. Mm -hmm. I, I go feel wait. So mm -hmm. waiting with the coco. <laughs> KB KB. See waiting the ground, eh? Me see. I want me to look this thing as business strategy. No look and pass as it be oh. No strings attached oh. Talk matter, out, you leave all this side talk. Now you see what you can do me. Eh? Can tell me say, in want the money fifty percent. I tell and say no good. He can't tell me, say, 
say, after all, I won't do the work with him, boys. I tell her, I me bring the information for her. Before God and man, I mean, are you there? That thing, when I tell Ken, I do bad thing. Talk true, not look say because I dare. No, it no good. But na normal thing, na 30, 70, with a split, with owner of job. God bless you, my brother. That's why I like you. You get sense. So I don't look and say, Ken don't they get sense, I think. So now, I make me call you, see. Mm. If me and you feel agree, so go do this work. 30, 70. We feel do the work now. I won't come to do it now. Now you bring me come. How about KB? I'm not expecting you with a yarn like this now. Uh uh. This is not serious money now. Check out now. I know now. Uh, I'd let you know as it be. Because. As you don't give Ken date, Ella how? Ain't go show for that deal. Ken no fit pull back for money matter. And he don't tell us eh, the money they plant. Mm -hmm. She will see him now. I know that I don't make that mistake now. But how good do I'm? Eh, if Ken come, make it come. We'll just, we'll just do the work first, I think. When we finish the work, we'll go find a way end Ken. Ah. Then me and you go, oh, that's what we agree now. 30, 70, we go fit, collect our money, <whistles> just go like that. <laughs> KB, KB, my guy, my G. So, <whistles> Waka well, oh. To do or not to do, my people, that is the question, no. Oh. Only KB has the answer. Muna take on like that. Well, see,